are my friends. Books are our never failing friends. Our worldly friends may desert us, but books will never leave us. In fact, they are our bosom mates, philosophers and guides. Books like a true friend will stand by us through thick and thin. They uphold and encourage us when we feel sad or discouraged. Books bring light into darkness and sunshine into shadows. All the same, we should be very judicious in the selection of books as in the choice of friends. The friendship of good books is the medicine of life, but there are books more dangerous than snakes and more poisonous than scorpions. The really good books sharpen our intellect, broaden our mind, enrich our experience, deepen or widen our knowledge, uplift our morals and souls, making us better and nobler in our life. Books are our mute friends, but they are not dumb. They speak in a language which is understood by the heart of man. They enlighten us and widen our vision and sympathy. They shape our character and personality. Books give us extra eyes to enjoy the beauty and extra ears to listen to great music. They take us to those remote places that we have not seen. A good writer is to use the words of Milton, a master spirit who has put his soul into his book. Bacon says, reading makes a full man. To conclude, let me quote Emily Poisson. Books are keys to wisdom's treasure. Books are gates to lands of pleasure. Books are paths that upward lead. So, come friends, let us read. Thank you.